Hi, welcome friends. Today I will discuss the concept of marginal distributions and conditional distributions. So what do you mean by marginal distributions? So marginal means it is individual distributions of the random variables. Suppose if x and y are discrete random variables and f of x y is the value of their joint probability distribution at x comma y then the function is given by f of x equal to summing the joint probability distribution over y for each x within the range of x is called marginal distribution of x so one can write instead of f of x we can write it as p of x so p of x means summation p of x y where summation is running over y similarly marginal distribution of y is given by f of y f of y which is equal to integral summing the joint probability distribution over x for each y within the range of y when x and y are continuous random variables then the pmfs are replaced by pdfs and the summations are replaced by integrals hence the marginal density function of x is called as f of x similarly marginal density function of y is given by f of y so f of x means integrate the joint density function with respect to y and the limit for y is in between minus infinity to plus infinity similarly marginal density of y is given by f of y that is equal to integrate the joint density function with respect to x where x lies between minus infinity to plus infinity so only difference between the discrete random variable and continuous random variable so pmfs are replaced by pdfs and summation are replaced by integrals next one conditional probability distribution of random variables if p of x y is the value of the joint probability distribution of the discrete random variables x and y p y of y is the value of the marginal distribution of y at y then the conditional distribution of x given y is given by p of x given y that is equal to p of x y divided by p of y where p of y not equal to 0 so this is obtained by using the concept of conditional probability so you might have been heard about conditional probability of a given b so probability a given b means probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b where probability of b is not which is greater than zero means denominator should be positive so instead of a intersection b we have joint probability distribution so p of x y means joint probability distribution of x and y divided by marginal probability of y where p of y means denominator not equal zero means it should be greater than zero for each x within the range of x is called conditional distribution of x given y equal to y on the similar manner conditional probability distribution of y given x is called as probability y given x that is equal to joint probability distribution that is p of x y given that uh, divided by marginal probability of x means p of x where the denominator p of x not equal to 0 means it should be greater than 0 for each y within the range of y 
is called conditional distribution of y given x equal to x. On the other hand, whenever the random variable is continuous, that means if f of x, y is the joint PDF of continuous random variables x and y at x, y and f of y is the marginal density function of y at y then the conditional density function means conditional probability density function is given by f of x given y that is equal to joint probability density function that is f of x y divided by marginal probability density function of y where the denominator f of y not equal to 0. Similarly f of y given x means joint probability density function that is f of x y divided by marginal probability density function of x means f of x where f of x not equal to 0 or respectively the conditional PDFs of x given y and y given x. Next, independence of random variables. We know the meaning of independent events. Two events A and B are said to be independent if probability A intersection B equal to probability of A into probability of B. So on the similar manner, independent random variables means two random variables X and Y are said to be independent if the joint PMF is equal to product of their marginal probability mass functions of X and Y respectively. So in terms of notation one can write it as the joint probability distribution as P of X Y and <coughs> marginal probability functions are denoted as P of X and P of Y. So that means P of X Y equal to P of X into P of Y. Similarly, whenever the random variables are continuous, then the joint PDF is equal to the product of their marginal PDFs of X and Y respectively. So that means joint PDF means F of X, Y and marginal PDFs are F of X into F of Y for all the values of X and Y. Next, what do you mean by expected value of a random variable? Let x be a discrete random variable with PMF, P of x, then the expected value of the random variable, that is nothing but the mean of the mean value of the random variable x, that is given by E of x, that is equal to summation into value taken by the random variable, that is x multiplied by probability function that is p of x so that is why e of x is summation over x x into p of x on the similar manner if x is continuous random variable with pdf f of x then e of x is defined as integral minus infinity to plus infinity x into f of x dx where the sum or integral exist otherwise the mathematical expectation is undefined suppose if g of x is a function of the random variable then how to find out the expectation of a function of the random variable so expectation of a function of the random variable is given by e of g of x that is nothing but summation value taken by the function that is g of x multiplied by probability mass function that is p of x so that is equal to summation g of x into p of x if x and y if x is continuous random variable then summation is replaced by integral so that is why expected value of g of x equal to minus infinity to plus infinity g of x into f of x dx so thank you